Um, I want to go over this story here and set this out because this, to me, um, is important. You are going to be um, discouraged in every possible way. In entertainment television, in music, in entertainment radio, um, in newspapers, online, in, you know, if you belong to a union, God bless you. Good luck with that. You're going to be discouraged and told you're a loser. You're on the win- You're on the losing side. Momentum is not in your favor. The poll numbers are down. There's no, there's no signs that nobody wants Romney, what, whatever. First of all, I think that you should wear this as a badge of honor, that you are not somebody who is putting um, Mitt Romney's face on a flag and flying it off your car. You're about principles. And I can't wait to vote for those principles. And I, I know who's getting my vote on those principles. And the minute he violates those principles, those votes, that vote will go someplace else to somebody else. But I've never seen anybody so maligned before. I mean, what they're doing to Mitt Romney his, uh, is, is far worse than anything they ever accused us of doing to Barack Obama. Because we were always rooted in the truth. Never did we edit a tape. Never did we edit a tape. Never did we spin something that wasn't true. When the White House uh, uh, demanded retractions on Fox and demanded that I be taken off of Fox and everything else, the question was asked, he'll apologize for anything we got wrong, we'll correct it. What is it? They didn't have anything. They came back to us two months later and they said, Glenn Beck said Van Jones was a felon. He only went to jail. Okay. I happily corrected that. We never, and we still don't, we would never do it. You stand in the blaze of the truth. You let the chips fall where they may. What they're doing to Mitt Romney is um, beyond politics because we're not talking about politics. We are now talking about the media. And NBC News should... should um, I mean, if, if I were a sponsor of NBC, and I am not a boycott guy, I don't believe in boycotts, but NBC News would never get a dime of my money, and NBC News or anything that NBC News ever um, um, produced would never get an eyeball from me because I don't trust them. And they have an extraordinary history, unlike anything I have seen in my lifetime, Remember, I'm a guy who came to you eight years ago and said, I don't believe this about the press. They're not in some cabal. They're not in some conspiracy. I still don't believe they're in some conspiracy. They just happen to believe the same thing, and they all swim in the same pool, and they're all drinking each other. They're all married to their cousins, and that's what's happening to our press. But MSNBC and NBC News is so far in the bag for the government socialists, I don't even know, they're Pravda. Here's what happened. The narrative that they're trying to paint is that Romney has no support. And Ryan is the only one that anybody is supporting. That he should be the top of the ticket. Now, this should tell you something because they don't really talk about Ryan. Which means Ryan must be really good and really smart. And he's pretty bulletproof because they're not talking about him. The way they're talking about him now is he's the superstar and we have evidence of it and nobody is interested at all. Mitt's jealous. Mitt's Mm -hmm. jealous. Mm -hmm. Now, this doesn't go in the narrative of anything if you know anything at all about Mitt Romney, which is almost impossible because, A, he's not telling you, and, B, the media is not looking for anything good about him. But if you know anything at all about Mitt Romney, he is not that guy. At all. So here's NBC yesterday. Listen, play it from the the Mika part where she's setting it up. Where she says, you know, hey, looks like there's some trouble on the campaign trail with Mitt Romney and Paul Ryan. Do you have it? Yeah, I'm getting it. 
Um, we got several MSNBC cuts, okay. so I'm trying to find the right one. You just take me through the story and as you, uh, how you have it lined out, Pat. Okay, here, here's uh, here, here's where Mika and uh, Joe Scarborough are mocking and going over the the tape initially. Ryan will be campaigning together more often in the coming weeks. According to the report, the move underscores concerns that Mr. Romney is not generating enough excitement on his own and needs Mr. Ryan to fire up supporters. That may have been evident during a campaign stop yesterday. Okay, you have it? Amongst reports. Who? Whose reports? Mm -hmm. Whose reports? Have you noticed the crowd sizes? Because I've seen the crowd sizes. The crowd sizes are decent sized crowd sizes. I've seen the crowd sizes of the Romney campaigns, and mm-hmm. I've seen the crowd sizes of the Obama campaign, and I am not hearing the comparison. And the comparison is, correct me if I'm wrong, Stu, but from what I'm seeing as a casual observer, the crowd sizes of Romney are bigger than the Obama campaign. There's definitely been a lot of that. I mean, they had to come out and say, we're intentionally keeping them intimate on the Obama campaign right. because they I mean, weren't getting this. about that. So here's the audio now that they're going to go ahead and play. Side date. Wow. That's quite a guy, isn't it? Paul Ryan. That's something. Wait a second. Wait a second. Romney Ryan. Romney Ryan. Romney Ryan. There we go. Really awkward. And this is when we first saw this on MSNBC. We're like, oh, well, what are you doing, Mitt? Why would you do that? That's so mm-hmm. out of character. It's so awkward. What are you doing? Well, Joe Scarborough, we don't need to play his idiocy. Um, uh, he goes off and he's like, they're just making fun of it and mocking it and everything else. Well, here's what happened. Yesterday, somebody called and said, I was there. And then somebody else called. I was there. We went and we looked at it. It's being reported now in the New York Times today that this is at what we have found is the accurate story. Paul Ryan was introduced. And here's a little bit of the audio of them chanting Romney, Romney, Romney. And this man was governor. Now, again, this is Ryan speaking. And this man was governor. Okay, got it. Absolutely so clear they, cut. They know how to say Romney. They're mm-hmm. chanting Romney. This is the same speech. This is just minutes before mm-hmm. MSNBC. So they're they're chanting Romney, Romney, Romney. Okay, go ahead. Then he starts speaking again. And as governor. And now now here's the part where Romney comes, wow. gets the microphone. Now it's that's all over. Guy, isn't it? Paul Ryan, that's something. Now listen very carefully. Romney. Wait, Romney. Wait, Play it again. Play it again. Romney Ryan. Play it again. There is there are some saying Ryan, some say Romney Ryan, but it's clearly Romney Romney with some Ryan. He is holding up his running mate. Absolutely. And saying include him. He's important. The exact opposite of what is happening. Play it again if you can. Pat. Yeah, I'm going to get it to that uh, part so we don't have to go through the whole thing. But here's. Romney, Romney. Romney. When you're listening for Romney, you hear it. If you're listening for Ryan, like like MSNBC, and they put MSNBC puts on the screen Ryan exclamation point. Even if it says Ryan, even Mm -hmm. if they're saying Ryan, some of them, Mm -hmm. okay, some of them I'm sure are saying Ryan. They were just chanting Romney, yeah. and he's just no coming out him of Ryan. No reason for him to feel left out. It's not, he's not feeling left out. It no. is the exact opposite. Now, here's, here's MSNBC is still on the air today after the New York Times. Go ahead. Yeah, uh, after Mr. Ryan whooped up the crowd in, uh, in Ohio on Tuesday, Mr. Romney moved to the front of the stage. As the crowd began chanting Romney, Romney, he cut them off. Wait a second, Mr. Romney said, Romney Ryan, Romney Ryan. No, that's then, from New York Times. That's the, the New, New York, York Times. Times. Here's Huffington Post. Update. This because they reported initially on Scarborough mocking it, saying that they were chanting Ryan and Romney cut them off. They say, update, a reporter, a reporter who attended the event contacted the Huffington Post to say that the crowd was chanting Romney's name, not Ryan's. Unbelievable. And that the Romney ad- uh, added his Ron- uh, running mate. Uh, to the chant, not the other way around. So, no. what does that tell you? Here's the here's the most important. Before we go back to NBC, what does that tell you? 
that tells you about the character of the man Mitt Romney, Mm -hmm. that tells you the exact opposite. When you have Mr. Frickin' Mussolini in office, who's standing there with his chin up in the air and looking down at everybody, you have a guy who they're chanting there his name, and he says, no, stop. We're a team. It's both of us. That is a character, um, uh, a character facet of a diamond that we need to observe because it is exactly what we've been praying for. It's exactly what we've been saying we're looking for. It's exactly the kind of humility that you need to lead this nation. And then on top of that, the other thing you have to learn is NBC is absolutely an abomination when it comes to news. You cannot trust anything NBC says. I've never said that about any news organization. I don't even think I've said that about the nation. You cannot trust anything that NBC News says. That's the Today Show. That's the... Uh, that's the uh, show, uh, the, 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 whoever is even doing it at night, because I don't think any of it, Brian Williams, that's obviously everything on uh, MSNBC. But this goes back to, this is not their first time. They did this with Trayvon Williams, Martin. or Trayvon Martin. They did this with um, um, Andrea Mitchell doing it with Wawa. Uh, with Wawa. And the Romney thing. Yeah. She just did it again with um, not being able to play. We can't verify that this video is Barack Obama. What is it, an impersonator? <laughs> Have you seen the impersonators? That's that's him. And the White House was verifying it. And they won't play that because we can't independently verify it. Oh, and it's Mrs. Alan Greenspan. The NBC is so in bed with the Fed, with the big banks, with the GE. They're no longer GE, but that's where that all came from. And all of the progressive, it is the worst source for news you could possibly find. I don't, I think you'd be better off reading the weekly, what is it, the the Workers' World, the communist newspaper may give you more accurate reporting than NBC News. Do not be discouraged by what you see in uh, on television. Do not be discouraged by what you read in the newspapers or hear on the radio or in the media or anything on NBC. Oh, look at that. We, we bring up the example all the time. We've bashed the New York Times a million times. The New York Times got the story right. Mm-hmm. They wrote about it. The Huffington Post got the story right. Mm-hmm. New York there are t- people the NBC that- News is so far to the left of even those organizations that we There's traditionally no, criticize. There is no semblance of reality at all. There's, they're not even trying to get it right. When they get it wrong, they don't correct it. Andrea Mitchell on the Wawa thing, Didn't, she never corrected it. No, she went on really, and said, no. you know, there's some things here that they're saying about us. They didn't correct it. They don't do it. Half-hearted at best. It's it, they're, they, are, they are as bad as as American journalism has ever gotten. Do we have those clips from yesterday where they're yeah. still touting it? Yeah. Um, it starts with Mika. The, report, the move underscores concerns that Mr. Romney is not generating enough excitement on his own and needs Mr. Ryan to fire up supporters. That may have been evident during a campaign stop yesterday. You had Joe Scarborough literally laughing out loud on air at Mitt Romney's response when the crowd chanted Ryan as opposed to Romney Pathetic. Ryan, Mark. The Ooh. crowd goes wild for Ryan even beginning a chant, so then Romney has to, you know, get a hold of this thing, get back in the picture. Conservatives have been clamoring for Romney to be more like Paul Ryan, as we saw on that one campaign stop, the crowd there cheering Ryan, 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 and then Mitt Romney had to correct them at who's the top of the ticket. Do not, that's amazing. do not trust any word from any journalist that works for NBC. Not one word. I've never said that about any organization, any news organization ever before. 